Kirk Duckwall here with Mastermind the Market, your real estate stats update for the Twin Cities area. All right, everybody, let's be honest. What do I mean by that? Well, we'll get into that in just a minute. But first, make sure you click on that subscribe button. We know that knowledge is power, and the more knowledge that you have, whether you're a buyer or a seller, about our Twin Cities market, the more that you can leverage that to your advantage. So again, click on that subscribe button. Let's dive into the data. Showings per week, per listing, median sale price range jumped up week over week, was at a 4.39, up to a 4.63. So this is pretty close to where we were a few weeks back. And this is kind of that leveled off summer market we've talked about in past weeks. Total number of showings though jumped up nicely, was at a 38.25, up to a 42.65. New listings into the marketplace maintaining relatively flat. A couple weeks ago it was at 18.39 and now at an 18.32. Pending sales dropped off year over year and week over week was at a 15.03 down to a 14.76 and inventory of homes fell back ever so slightly as well. That all said, it does look like what we're seeing for inventory coming in this week that we may have a nice little boost in new listings coming into the marketplace. All right, we talked about being honest. Our market meter, right? You hear a lot of people out there, a lot of agents, a lot of sellers saying we, we're in the best market ever, that this is the best time to sell that you can have out there, the best market we've experienced. Well, that's kind of true because we've experienced it. We know that prices are starting to actually drop off. So to set the appropriate expectations, you don't want to think that you're necessarily going to go into a heavy multiple offer bidding situation, whether you are a buyer or a seller out there. Now, the truth behind it, yes, we look back and our peak market started coming off of that uh, the week of June 13th that it came down from that 10 on the market meter to 9.97 and now we're floating around this 7.4 range that we're in so it's not that same fast paced market we had a couple of months ago but it's still a pretty decent seller's market we are seeing that days on market are getting a little bit longer so you want to make sure you have that expectation but as far as price received it's still pretty good for sellers it's just not that 25 offer crazy amount of showings sold in necessarily one or two days so make sure you're looking at the data when setting your expectations but for sellers it's still a decent market for buyers yeah there's still definitely some pressure out there it's just not the pressure that there was looking at interest rates we did see rates move up a bit week over week so it was at a 2.77 up to a 2.87 so where is our market going to go over the next 30 days well it's going to hold probably in that kind of flat level market range as we're not seeing uh, drastic changes to inventory. Um, it's possible we, we may actually see the market meter uh, tick back up a hair with that jump in showing activity, but I don't expect any massive movement out there. Hopefully you found this information valuable. Again, click on that subscribe button. And if you haven't had the opportunity, check out our TV show. We put that out on the Bricks Twin Cities YouTube channel, uh, but you can also catch it on the CW23 Friday mornings at 8:30, or you can, uh, you know, obviously uh, podcast that as well. If you just type in Twin Cities Real Estate Show uh, in whatever device you use to podcast, you should be able to find that. Take care, everybody. Be safe. Have a great week.